What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do another modification to the TL. We are going to repaint my brake calipers. Um, so we're going to go with the yellow right here. And my sister's here to help <laughs> to, to help out with the, uh, with the painting and stuff. So the yellow is going to be accented with the silver to match the Pikachu and I'll have some other yellow accents too and then we're gonna get new wheels for the car eventually but not right now today we're just going to go ahead and paint these calipers because you can see right here uh, some of the clear coat is actually peeling off of it so we're gonna have to sand it down clean it up sand it down and then cover everything that we don't want it to be oversprayed and then go ahead and start paint, uh, painting with the color and then putting a clear coat on. So let's get this started. All right, so first up, we gotta go ahead and jack up the car and then uh, jack up the car, take off the wheel and then start cleaning up the calipers and things to prep it for the repaint. All right, so we got the passenger side off, you can see. Uh, you can really tell right here from here, clear coat is really peeling off, so we're gonna have to sand it down. So we jacked this up and put it on jack stand, so now we gotta go on the other side and do the same. All right, so Driver side is done now. Go check on my sister. Yeah. Yeah, you can be a little rough with this, no worries. I'm gonna go ahead and sand the driver side while she stands to the passenger side. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna to have to cover all the pieces that we're not wanting to get overspray on. I haven't decided if I want to prime it first or not, or just go ahead and go straight into the color but I guess I'll figure it out when we get there. Okay, so, so far it looks, you know, pretty good. It's, very, it's pretty smooth and things that, um, there's still quite an amount of clear coat that's still in here, so let me see if I can uh, maybe use a grittier sandpaper uh, to maybe break it down a little more but overall it's getting pretty smooth let's check over here it should be fine i mean as long as it's smooth uh we won't see it in the uh final color let me try this one right here it's a little more grittier sandpaper see if it will do anything more let's see if that's all clear coat right there that's kind of Kind of hard to. Okay, so after a few minutes of sanding and stuff, with uh, I think it's 120 grit sandpaper, we were able to get it pretty good. So you, know, you can see all that, all that debris right there, all the debris right here. So everything's nice and smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and now clean up uh, the caliper and prep it for painting. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some brake cleaner, wipe it down, and then clean it with uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then after that, we're gonna cover everything and then start painting. Actually, to make our life easier, I'm gonna turn the wheel to work towards us so that we don't have to be breaking our backs. Woo! Thought I was about to hit that wall. Oh, that was close. But I mean, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel and make it easier on us. Uh, yep, I'm gonna work on this side right now. This will help us uh, get into more areas of it.
All right, so everything is nice and bagged up so that there will be no risk of overspray whatsoever. Now we're gonna go ahead and start painting it. Uh, so the game plan for each side or all the calipers is we're gonna prime it, three coats of primer, a couple minutes in between so it'll give enough chance to dry. And then we will hit it with four coats of yellow paint and then another four coats of clear coat afterwards. So, and then we'll wait like 10 minutes in between or so uh, of each coat. So while we wait, we can start bagging up the other side as well. So that's the game plan. We're gonna go ahead and start doing the primer. Okay, so moment of truth, we're about to add the yellow to the calipers. I'm excited because never really done this kind of stuff. So all this stuff is the first time. Here we go. Sort of messed up a little bit. I'll spray a little too much right here. So it's a little saturated, it's not one. But hopefully maybe we can avoid like this part and add a little more center in here. But this is only the first coat, now we wait a couple minutes and add on the second coat and then third. Alrighty, so after four coats and like five minutes in between each coat, we are on the last coat. And I think it looks pretty nice. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So now the, the last thing we have to do is to add the clear coat, three coats of clear coat, and then let it dry, and then we're done. But we're only done with the dry passenger side. Now we still gotta do take care of the driver side as well. All right. So now it's time for the last, the last coat, which is the clear coat. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying it, and then we'll be done. Three coats of that, five minutes in between. Here we go. The status right now is I finish. The, uh, the passenger side, the right, the front right passenger side. Uh, everything's done, primer, paint, clear coat, all that is on. I finished painting this side, now I just have to add the clear coat for that. But that will be, have to be another day because I actually have to go right now. I'll finish up the calibers later and then I'll show you guys. <coughs> so it's been like a week or two now since we recorded the painting of the calipers. Uh, the reason why we had to wait a little bit because I was waiting for some stickers to come in for the calipers. And I just put them on and they look, that just detail is just beautiful. But here they are. It looks really good, especially with the sticker, because when I looked at it bare, it sort of looked just empty, you know? Just, but, excuse the sound, someone's mowing the lawn, but that really adds a lot to it. I'm gonna do it on the other side, and then I'll show, with, show it to you with the wheel on. Wait, real quick, before we continue on with the video, it's actually pretty exciting because I've actually got my first sponsor for the channel, and it's right here on my hat. Boom. If you guys like this hat, here it is. Oh yeah. Right, wait, wait, wait. It actually, cool design, little mesh and things. They are a fitness company who specializes in workout supplements in gear, workout gear and stuff. So if you guys are like me and like to work out and things, uh, you should really check out the site. They have high quality products and things. I know, I know, with this whole COVID stuff going on, a lot of a lot of gyms are closed and things. But that doesn't, that shouldn't stop you from getting some swag, some gear, at their on their website. So I'll have their website down below in the description, and use my coupon code to get your 15% off on your entire order. But that is all for the sponsor. Let's continue on with the video. All right, so. Both wheels are on now with the stickers. And so the big reveal with the wheels on. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, so that's what it looks like with the wheels on, the stock wheels at least. So for the next two videos that's gonna come out to the channel, it's gonna totally transform 
this car. And I'll show you the first hand. It's right behind me. Let me just cover this part. Boom. New set of wheels. So it's either the second video that's gonna be posted or the first or the next one that's gonna be posted are the reveal of my new wheels. I am excited because I've actually never had aftermarket wheels before, so it's gonna be exciting. Second modification is after the, before or after the wheels is gonna be coilovers, which are on their way right now as we speak. But that is all I have for y'all today. You guys have a nice day. I'll see you on the next one. Since, uh, but that is all I have for y'all today.